DX Genomics offers an easy-to-use solution for analyzing and visualizing both single-cell and bulk RNA-seq data. Today, we'll be introducing Cell by Gene VIP, a key component of BX Genomics for interactively visualizing single-cell data. Please visit bxgenomics.com to get an overview of the platform. From this webpage, we can launch the BX Genomics app. Within the app, there are both bulk RNA and single-cell RNA data. We're going to use single-cell RNA-seq view today. We highly recommend that you create your own free account so you can save your results. But for the demo, we'll just sign in as guest. Within the SC RNA view system, we have already preloaded over 400 single-cell RNA-seq datasets. From the left side dashboard, we can quickly filter the datasets. For example, I can check for human data published in 2019. This single nucleus RNA sequencing data of multiple sclerosis is the demo data I'm going to use today. Click the project name to view more information about the dataset. This was published in Nature in 2019, and we can open the publication link to view the paper. Today, I'm going to try to reproduce several figures from the paper using Cell by Gene VIP. From the project page, click the Cell by Gene VIP link to start visualizing the results. The system is fast. In a few seconds, all of more than 40,000 cells and associated annotations are displayed. We can change the embedding options from UMAP to TSNI, or we can view batch correction using the Liger method instead of Harmony. For this project, we'll choose UMAP of Harmony results as the default embedding. By default, the cells are colored by cell type. We can change the coloring to sequencing batch. And here we can see that the Harmony method did a good job of removing any batch effect. From the diagnosis annotation, we can see the cells are from either MS patients or control and we'll deselect the about 2,000 cells without diagnosis information. Next, click the Pi button to set it to selected cells only, and we can save the selected cells to slot 1. Another way to select cells is to use the mouse to draw a shape. Here, I'll select the two inhibitory neuron clusters at the top right corner. And when the drawing turns from blue to green, the selection is complete. I can save these neurons to cell slot 2 and make plots from these cells if needed. Now we're going to check a few marker genes. Just enter the gene symbols into the box under bulk add genes, and the expression values from these genes will be loaded. The gene expression values can be used as a color scale for the cells. For example, SYT1 is a pan neuron marker. It is highly expressed in all neurons. AQP4 is a marker specific to astrocytes. Next, we're going to make UMAP plots for all marker genes. To do this, open the Visualization and Plugin window, also known as the VIP window. Drag to make the window larger, and choose Embedding Plot from the left menu. Choose cell type as the annotations, UMAP Harmony as the embedding layout, and use three plots per row, since we have six genes. Click Plot, and the tool will generate a grid of UMAP plots for the marker genes. These UMAP plots for cell type marker genes match with Figure 1D in the paper. We can also generate Figure 1E which shows the percentage of MS and control cells in each cell type. In certain cell types, like microglia, a high percentage of cells are from MS. In Cell by Gene VIP, we can use a stacked bar plot. Choose cell type and diagnosis, and color by diagnosis. The default plot shows the count, we can change it to the proportion. And now this plot matches figure 1E pretty well. We can see a high proportion of microglia cells are from MS patients. 
Next, let's look at figure 4D from the paper. The authors noted elevated ferritin levels in oligodendrocytes from MS patients, and these stress cells mapped strongly to iron-rich MS lesion rims. Both ferritin genes, light-chain FTL and heavy-chain FTH1, were found to be highly expressed in MS oligodendrocytes. Now let's try to reproduce this observation using cell by gene VIP. First, we add FTL and FTH1 genes and select only OL cells from the cell type annotation. In the VIP window, we'll choose violin plot, select FTL as the gene, use a cutoff of negative one to show all cells, and group the cells by diagnosis. Plot and adjust the zoom level, and it is clear FTL expression is much higher in multiple sclerosis than in control oligodendrocytes. The FTH1 violin plot shows a similar pattern. Lastly, we're going to demonstrate another very useful feature of VIP, the dot plot. To save time, we loaded a saved session to add marker gene sets for eight cell types. Users can also manually add new gene sets. Go to dot plot, choose the gene sets to plot, and group data by cell type. In the dot plot, each row is a cell type and each column is a gene, organized by marker gene sets. Here we can see that astrocyte marker genes are indeed mostly highly expressed in astrocytes, and panneuron markers are expressed in all neurons, while excitatory and inhibitory neuron markers can help divide the two major neurono types. All tools in the VIP window have detailed help information. Simply click the question mark to open the help page. Today, we demonstrated several key visualizations using Cell by Gene VIP. This tool offers over 20 popular plotting functions and analytical methods for single cell research. We invite you to explore this tool on bxgenomics.com using public datasets. If you need assistance with preparing your own single cell data for visualization, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.